Hello boys and girls, thank you for joining me. So today we're going to read a story about a boy named Peter and how he is growing up just like you. So let's get started. Remember, every story has characters, a setting, and events called a plot. So remember, characters are the people or animals in a story. A setting is where and when the story takes place. And a plot is the events that happen in the beginning, in the middle, and the end. So here we have the title, which is Peter's Chair. And what else do we have on a cover of a story? We have the author. Good job. So the author here is Ezra Jack Keats. The author is the person who wrote the book. And also we have a picture on the book. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. So how do you think Peter is feeling right now? Do you think he's happy? No, he's he's feeling upset, right? Because his parents have painted his old things pink for his baby sister. So Peter is not happy. He saw his crib and muttered, My crib. It's painted, painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, he shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. So why do you think he doesn't fit in the chair? Because it's an old chair and he's grown up now. He got bigger. So the chair stayed small and now he can't fit in his chair anymore. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. What do you think the idea was? Hmm, let's find out. Soon, his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in, in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. Why do you think Peter decides that he wants to paint the chair pink for Susie? Well, because he understands that he has grown older and bigger. Now he uses a grown-up chair. He wants to share his chair with his sister. They painted the chair pink, it says, and they did. Okay, boys and girls, let's work on this worksheet together. So here we have pictures that show character, setting, and plot from the story Peter's Chair. So we are going to write the letter C for character next to the picture that shows the main character in the story. We are going to write the letter S for setting next to the picture that shows where the story happens. And then lastly, we are going to write P for plot next to the picture that shows something that happens during the story. Let's start with character. Can you find which picture has the main character of the story? 
So who is the main character of the story? The main character is Peter. Good job. So we have a picture of Peter right here. Good job. So we are going to write the letter C for character. So next we are looking for setting, which is where the story happens. So can you show me which picture is set the setting of the story? Good job. It is Peter's home. So we are going to put S for setting. Now, lastly, we have plot. So which picture shows the events that happened in the story? We have the picture of Peter and his dad painting the chair. So that is something that happens in the story. So we are going to put the letter P. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time, boys and girls.